Yeah, yeah, Jake Paul, yeah, like you said. I've, there's The interesting thing is he's actually put himself in this position where he is the money fighter. Yeah, 100%. He is the money fighter. He is the McGregor fighter at the yeah. moment. Man, you say this, though, because I see some thing on the, uh, about his um, fights the other day. Like, not that this is bad. The numbers? But yeah, yeah, mm. and they're always embellished, whether it be higher, lower. You're never really going to know. But it's like 400, 500, which is good, which is very good, but it's not like... What you've got to think, though, is... <laughs> the pay per view and the pay per view points may be not as good, but 500 is still decent. Yeah, no, it is. UFC would take 500 on some cards. Do you yeah, know what I mean? but it's not upper sure. echelon. But their purses are bigger. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So, like, you've got 2 million on purses and whatnot, and then your pay per view on 500. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think Tyron Woodley walked away with about 8 million. 8. 8 million. Oh, that's a bag. Yeah. That's, that's not bad, is it? Yeah. So, people, and, and the thing is, as well, because it's martial arts, it's MMA guys. They keep seeing... Number one, they see Jake Paul and this sort of facade and they all think, oh, I'd love to sort of knock him out. Yeah, Second like, of all, they think, oh, what? I don't have to have a camp. Like, yeah, I can training... Just, I can just box. Yeah, I can just box yeah. for, what, eight rounds? Three minutes? Mm, yes. Against, like, on paper, my least experienced opponent ever. No damage. For the most no amount elbows. of eyeballs. No And needs. the biggest pay- paycheck. I get it. I get what he's doing. And he's doing a good job of, like, drawing fighters out and kind of making them look thirsty, which they are... I think it's brilliant. Yeah, he's smart. He's not silly. And we're always talking about him. Do you know what I mean? Because I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it live on air. I started... Live and direct. ...the Jake Paul saga. Not a fan. And to be yeah, honest, I'm, I'm saying that from a position of... I didn't know a lot about him. I was, I was quite ignorant. But I just didn't really like... It's not that I don't really like his content, but I don't watch that content. So I just sort of thought he wouldn't be my type of person. But... I know he comes across a certain way in the media, and it's like Colby. Yeah, I, it's, that's a facade. Like it's not like that. But when I actually sort of see Jake Paul just being actually a normal human being, I actually quite like him. I respect him. I actually respect him as a businessman. I respect him as like an actual fighter, a professional fighter, yeah. for like the work he's putting into that job. Because he's not he's not playing about with that. And I respect what he's doing for fighters' pay, and I respect what he's doing for his brand because you say to someone a year ago, "Ah, oh, people, everyone's going to be calling Jake Paul out for the money." <laughs> I don't people, what fuck are you talking off. about? And now he's got the McGregor effect. Yeah. I, he's got the McGregor I effect. I do want to see him get knocked out though. But that's why you watch. Yeah, I watch. That's why. I'll that's watch. why the pay per views are going to be higher because yeah. as people start to like him as well, everyone's still like. Pfft, wouldn't mind it though. Yeah, like could, wouldn't be against it. Yeah, could this be the one to knock him out? Sort of Jorge Masvidal. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's an, an interesting like um, era you want to call it. Like, there's a lot of like weirdness going on. A lot of like, uh, I don't know, just interesting like different dynamics to fights and stuff. It's not just like UFC. It's boxing. It's MMA. Mm. It's MMA Muay Thai mixes. It's just fucked. I thought what was interesting though is. Jake Paul and Ariel. I he even this. said he's yeah. good. Yeah, he's he, really, really good. Yeah. He even said, as a, I think he sort of said it as a bit of a passing comment, but you know, and to get some back. He up. knows how to troll. He does, but he also raises good points. He, he said, "Well, they asked him if he was going to fight again this year, and he was like, well, I think boxing needs me to because of all these big fights that aren't happening and people pulling out and COVID.' Yeah. He was like, boxing needs me to, and I was thinking." He's not wrong. You're the only boxing fighter I care about. Anthony Joshua's fighting in two weeks, I think. Could not give less of a fuck. That will get put on in the background of the UFC that week. I think it's the same weekend as Ortega Volkanovski. Do you honestly, nah. honestly nah. think that I'm watching Joshua over Ortega and Volkanovski, who by all are not the biggest stars in the UFC? Like, all right, Volk's the champ, but do you honestly think that Joshua trumps that? No. Nah. No. And it's. Think of it what you will, and this is going to be a promotion. This is a promotion thing. I'm going to be honest. It solely is a promotion thing. Jay Paul, at the moment, is one of the best promoters and self-promoters pretty much in the world, in, in any sport, yeah, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. In any sport, one of the best you know, self-promoters. You know how to get you invested. And I watched that fight with Tyron Woodley, genuinely... I won't your... like my heart. We were together. My heart like... is like this. I remember saying to you, like, I'm on the edge of my seat here. But honestly, of all the fights in the UFC that I love, that I've been 
waiting for months and researching for weeks and as much as I've been anticipated, nothing has no, made nothing me like that. that nervous. Nothing like that. And it's not to say, oh, people get so twisted. It's not to say, oh, I loved the event so much. It was the best display of boxing I ever watched. I'm not talking about any of that because obviously I know watching Corey Sandhagen beat TJ Dillashaw is a higher level of skill yeah. than Jake Paul. But it's, it's how you get built up for it. I am like, oh, I'm I'm like I need, to, I need to, to see this, this now. I need to see this now. Exactly yeah. that. And honestly... I only get like remotely close to that if like McGregor or Adesanya is fighting. Yeah. And even not as much. Like I'm excited to see them perform, but it's not like, oh my God, what the fuck's going to happen here? The unknown. Yeah, typically I have a good idea. Sometimes I'm wrong. Most of the time I'm wrong. Yeah. But in that, I'm like, what the fuck's going to happen? It's the unknown as well. Because if we watch Adesanya v Rob, we can sit here for a week and you can pick Rob, but I can pick Izzy and we can be going back and forth for why or why. Yeah, may not and there's so like much that. footage out there of like exactly. why he could do this and like what he brings and what he brings. Jay Paul, it's like every time he goes out there, a flip of a coin. Yeah, I do think maybe less so now. Yeah. Not so much actually, but like I don't know whether the fact that well, obviously it would have been better if he knocked out Woodley in like two rounds, but the fact that he's actually put some Same rounds and we've yeah. seen him fight. Yeah. And like we've seen more of him, that like, there's less questions. Like that's what he tried to answer. That's what yeah. I was sort of, like, fair enough. He gassed out a little bit though. And, yeah, he I did. Mean, it's hard for Woodley to gas out when he throws one punch around. He was always going to be fresh, and the questions were always going to be the same. That's why it was interesting. 